start with one side. I, re I try to respect Hart's line. So the usual rule of thumb is you want to stay at one centimeter above below the clitoral hood so that if it does retract, it doesn't, we don't want to amputate her labias. So I usually just use my surgical marking pen and, and the labias are telling me where to go anyways. I'm just sort of following the color diagram and I'm going to come down. And so I'm going to resect this whole area. And I'm going to come up on top. I form a little triangular incision on the top. And I'm going to come back down. And I'm really sort of gauging. I'm just going to do this all the time. So I can get a pretty good idea of where I want to go. But this is about right for her. So this should leave us enough labia that she'll be a lot more comfortable. And then I simply reflect it as if it was a mirror image. And then I just finished, sorry, just fill in our markings so that there's no confusion. And so now we should be pretty symmetrical. On this side, I'm gonna follow the same rule, one centimeter above, and I'm just gonna gently come. And the biggest mistake people make in the beginning is they over resect because they don't anticipate the amount of retraction that's gonna happen when we use heat and during the healing process. So there's our main lines for labioplasty minora. Pretty symmetrical, pretty simple. And then for my vaginal tightening procedure, I really want to gauge, one, how tight the patient wants to be and what I'm dealing with. She doesn't want me to overly tighten her. So I'm going to be pretty conservative and stay about